Hi again. Today, I'm going to walk you through retouching with Aftershoot. In this video, we'll go through the exact steps you need to follow so that you can retouch photos seamlessly and with ease. So let's dive right in. Start by importing your images into a new album. You can either drag and drop or click on Browse to locate a folder and import images. JPEG and TIFF are all supported formats. And once your images are imported, go to the Retouch tab, hit Enter to get into the loop view, or double click on any image. Now, let's reorganize your people. Right at the top, you can choose between different groups. Groups lets you apply edits across similar categories like masculine, feminine, elderly, or children. But if you're working on a close-up portrait or want total control, go with individual. This lets you zero in on one subject at a time. Before you touch a single slider, you can start by picking a preset. You'll find this dropdown in the right-hand panel. Pick what works best for your image. Anti-aging will soften wrinkles, lighten eye bags, and freshens up the face. Face pop brightens the image, sharpens the teeth and eyes, and gives portrait that perfect pop. Hair cleanup clears away flyaways and messy fringes. Face cleanup is great for acne, blemishes, and uneven patches. Wedding radiance adds a soft glow for dreamy romantic shots, perfect for weddings. Want to streamline your editing workflow? With Aftershoot, you can also create a custom preset. Just start by adjusting the retouching sliders on an image, and then go to the Presets tab in the top right corner and click on the plus icon to create a new preset. In the pop-up window, you can name your preset and review all of the slider settings and choose which group it applies to, masculine, feminine, elderly, children, or all. And once you're happy with the setup, hit Create Preset. Once you've finished working on an image, whether you've applied a preset or adjusted the face and body sliders, you don't have to repeat the process for every single photo. Instead, you can use batch syncing to apply those same adjustments to other images in your album. Select the photos you want to apply these settings to, click Sync, and you're done. Aftershoot will automatically apply and copy the retouching settings to each individual subject in your selected images. It's a quick, powerful way to keep your style consistent across a full album. Now, head to the Subject tab on the right panel, and this is where the real transformation begins. You'll find sliders for acne, which clears up zits while keeping skin texture natural, freckles to gently fade them away if you want a cleaner, freckleless look, and you can use the sliders at varying intensities so you can decide whether you're just looking for a little polish or if you want to go for pure perfection. Next up is the Patch tool. This is where the magic really kicks in. Click the Patch tab and adjust your brush size from the top, then simply paint over what you want to remove. Maybe there's a distracting bag in the background, or a distracting necklace, or a logo on a t-shirt. Whatever it is, brush it out, click on the Remove object, and the AI fills the space like it was never there. It's so satisfying to watch. Sometimes the AI is a little too helpful. Maybe it removed a birthmark or a freckle you actually love. And that's where Correct Changes tool comes in. Click the Correct Changes icon and brush over the area you want to undo, and the original photo comes right back. Just in that spot. It's perfect for when you want fine-tuned control without undoing your entire edit. You'll also find a Before and After button right next to the Sort icon. Click on it once to view the image in its original state, and click again to switch back to your edited version. It's the quick way of seeing the impact of your retouching. Happy with your final results? Let's export. You can go to the bottom right-hand corner and hit Export, and it'll export the image that you're currently on. You can pick the file format, JPEG or TIFF. You can set your export path and rename the file if you want to. Better yet, if you want to export the entire project, simply select all and click export and follow the same steps picking your file format, your export path, and if you want to rename the file. That's it. Clean and simple export, whether it's one or a hundred or a thousand. And there you have it, a full walkthrough of retouching inside Aftershoot. Whether you're batch editing a wedding album or perfecting a portrait, retouching gives you pro-level results with zero complexity. If you have any questions, hit us up anytime at hello at aftershoot.com or feel free to reach out to our 24-7 in-app support. Happy retouching.